Welcome back to day two of Concretes and Cranes. Miss Christy and Miss Dolly here, and we're so excited that you joined us. Today, let's begin with our Bible verse. Now remember, our Bible verse, it comes from Philippians 1.6, and I have some friends today to help us put it together. I know God started a good work in me. And he will complete it. Philippians 1 6. Yes, that is our verse today. Thanks, guys. I know that God started a good work in me, and he will complete it. So he started this work. When did he do that? He did that the very moment he created you. He started his work in you right when you were born. We'll talk about more about how he's going to complete that and is completing that on another day. Yesterday, we discovered in our toolbox our most important tool, our Bible, and how it is a blueprint of God's love and direction for us. Today's tool that we're going to discover from our toolbox is a flashlight. Your flashlight shines light into bright places. As we sin or make bad choices, that can block our vision or our ability to see what's ahead. We ask God for forgiveness and he shines a bright light down, making our pathway clear. Today's demonstration is going to show you how light can make things easier. Hey, and welcome to day two of our VBS. This is our second day of demo. And what we have, we have two builders here today. Today we have Charlie and we have Leah here to help us today. And what they're going to show us is how we really need light and to be able to see to do our jobs well. So Charlie and Leah, if you will put your blindfolds on. And I would like for you to build a single tower working together. Very good. Go ahead and take off your blindfolds. Now, guys, were you able to know what your partner was doing all of the time? No. No, because you couldn't see, right? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and put the blocks back. And now, I'd like you to leave your blindfolds off and build a tower again. But this time, with being able to see. Now notice the time before, they weren't sure if their partner was working or not and whether to wait or to go. And now they can tell and take turns because they can see one another. God does this for us as well. He provides light so that we know when to take turns and how to take turns. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Thank you. And welcome to day two and our Bible story here for VBS. Today's story can be found in Acts 26, verses 1 through 20. And it's about another man, a man who was not like Matthew in that he was one of those teachers of the law. Do you remember yesterday's story? Those men who were complaining about Jesus eating with sinners? Well, Paul, he was one of those guys. He was one of those who knew the law of the, the land and he followed it quite well. What he didn't understand was that Jesus, when he came, that changed. Now, Paul, he was a man who, again, he taught that law, but not only did he teach it, 
he would run around hurting people who loved Jesus. Well, Jesus, he wasn't happy about that, and he really wanted Paul to know him. And so one day, when Paul was on his way to hurt more people, Jesus stopped him in his tracks with a very bright light. And guess what happened when that bright light came? Paul could no longer see. He was blinded. It's like us taking our hands, putting it over our face so tightly that we can't see the light anymore. That's what happened to Paul. And then Jesus spoke to him saying, why? Why are you doing this? Well, Paul really thought he was doing the right thing. But Jesus then called Paul to love him instead. Not only that, but Jesus forgave Paul for hurting his people. After that, Paul was called to go to another town and to be healed. And after that, when Paul was healed, he did accept that forgiveness that was given to him and he did go and teach everyone about Jesus. He did so much so to the point of being in jail, to the point of being persecuted, which means that people would say bad things about him. But he loved Jesus so much that he was willing to do whatever it took to make sure that others also knew him. Now for Paul, before he knew Jesus and before he had forgiveness, he was blind anyway. He was trying to do things that were not right. After he was forgiven, he saw the truth and taught the truth. Jesus wants that to be true for us today too. We all make mistakes. We all do things that are hurtful and wrong. But Jesus, he asks us to come to him and seek forgiveness for those wrong things we do. And when we do, we can see so much better the right things to do. Just like Paul did when he was forgiven. For today's activities, you're going to need to retrieve your cubes, blocks, and your styrofoam cup from your toolbox. Your first challenge activity is to use your cubes. Let's do the challenge that Leah and Charlie showed us in the demonstration. Close your eyes or use a blindfold if you have one and try to build a tower out of your cubes. Now, open your eyes and build a tower in the light. Did you experience a difference? How much easier it is to build in the light. Jesus' light provides us forgiveness and love. Today, with our styrofoam cups, I encourage you to join our friends in writing a sin on the outside of your cup. Please join us, friends. Your sins are your decisions that are, make God sad, make him unhappy. These can be things like lying, disobeying your parents, being disrespectful, mistreating a sibling, using inappropriate words. Each of my friends here have chosen a sin that they would like to be forgiven for. Once we ask Jesus for forgiveness, those sins are destroyed and gone immediately. Gentlemen, would you please ask Jesus for forgiveness of our sins? God, please forgive our sins. Amen. The stopping of their cups represents the fact that they were destroyed the instant that they asked Jesus for forgiveness. Please feel free to stomp your cup and be rid of your sins. As demonstrated with Paul's experience in meeting Jesus, we learn today that Jesus offers forgiveness for all of our sins and to everyone. He shines a light to guide the way. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow and continuing to learn more of what Jesus will do for us.